Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, longtime representative of American Top Team. You know how happy it would make Dan Lambert if Masvidal could finally break through and win a UFC championship. He's as close to that level as he's been in his UFC career. As he's ever been. He's finally on the cusp of earning what so many people have hoped for for him. But that doesn't happen by accident. The reason he's this close now is because of the commitment that he has made to mixed martial arts. Commitment that he has made to evolving his game, going up to 170 pounds, and also using everything that he has in order to get to where he wants to be. Before, there might have been distractions. Now, Ray Masvidal is solely focused on becoming a UFC champion. Left his family to go compete in a reality show outside of the United States. Gave him a, yeah, one, it gave him a lot of focus and direction, and he has put all of that to good use here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hamzat Bors Chibayev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red Masvidal. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Good to be here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. We are live at Toyota Center tonight. You see this is a venue that has been good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight city. People think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked, but some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, the wisdom coming in was that he'd want to get this fight to the ground. That'll help. Early takedown is good. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. So back to the well with the elbows now, and he's landing them in bunches. So his opponent better figure some solutions out here and in short order. He better keep those hands high 
or he's going to be all sliced up like a lot of the guys that fight Tony Curtis. Big power shots landing. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big punch from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? It's not over. It's not over. Keep Big leg kick land. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, please. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just missed with the left there. All right, single power tie now. Nice punch there by Gamebrick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. So we call on the fight stats here on officially 49 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Just out of range with that strike. Front kick to the body by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, collar tie. Punch over the top. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, just, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Uppercut lands now. He got him. Good. Oh! Oh, no! Big knee to the body! Wait, 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 wait. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Okay, you ready, round two? Ready? Second round underway. What a punch. Oh, he lands another 
strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Oh! Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! Well, back in the day, he was brawling in backyards in the 305 alongside Kimbo Slice. Now he's one of the biggest superstars in the UFC and showing that he's still got plenty of work to do. I mean, he's got plenty of work to do, and he has the swagger, a Miami swagger, that will allow him to capture the mind and the imagination of the entire world. Masvidal is now a bronze fighter. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, side control now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, close guard now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Game Break. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down the opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop the stop. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you have gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. You gotta defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Masvidal Sai is closing up now. Not good for him. Good, solid strike on the ground. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by... after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? It's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying. 
to the club tonight.